In this video, we see the second numerical problem based on binary operation. In the previous video, we saw a logical question based on binary operation. In this, we'll see a bit logical but a bit solving based question based on the same operation, binary operation. Let's see what the question has to say. Let's read it together. Tell which of the following is a binary operation. You are asked to choose out of these three options which is binary, which is not binary and why. So the question would be given like this only. You will have star which is what? Which is a binary operation. You know all these asterisk signs here are binary operations. The other thing that the definition will be given here, definitely it will be given here. Also what one thing will be there, one thing else will be there. You have to see what is the domain or the range. So it is given to me in the first point that it is z positive. What is z positive? z positive is the positive integer. In the second we have r. What is r? r is the real number. In the third again it is z positive. So what do you mean by z positive? It is the positive integer. This has to be taken in mind. First thing. Let's get started with the first solution. These are very easy but fundamental questions to study the further basic and important questions as well. The first question is on z positive defined by a star b is equal to a minus b. I write the question again a star b is equal to a minus b. Now what does this mean? The question asks me to check whether if this kind of operation is given it is a binary operation or not. Now you have restricted things that z should only be positive. But consider one example. Suppose a and B are given to me as 2 and 3. Now A star B is equal to A minus B. Okay, this is the question. Nothing can be changed. And if 2 is my A, 3 is my B, what happens? 2 star 3 is equal to 2 minus 3. And what is 2 minus 3? 2 minus 3 is minus 1. Now is minus 1 belonging to z positive? Is it a positive integer? No. So minus 1 does not belong to z positive. So since we have the minus operation, the minus operation not closed over z positive. So this is not a binary operation. So we can write it down as since minus 1 does not belong to z positive. So a star b is equal to a minus b is not binary operation or is not closed over z positive. Right? So this was the first solution, the first part as to how to go about it. Let's move on to the second part. Now what is the second part? The second part asks me on r that means on real numbers defined by a star b is equal to a b square. Now we need an example to disprove something if it is incorrect like this. But if something is already correct how many examples would you show? Every other example you would take would prove it correct only. So that is the funda basic funda of proving anything that if you want to prove something to be correct just generalize. But if you want to prove something to be incorrect, just quote any one example where it is not valid. Moving back to the question, it asks me for real numbers a star b is equal to b square. a star b is equal to a b square. Now, a, b, all things real given to me. Now, real multiplied by real square will always give me what? It will give me real only. So there is no question of obtaining anything out of the boundary of real numbers. Hence, a star b is equal to a b square is closed on real. So it is a binary operation on r. That means by this time we have done two questions. The first one was not a binary operation as we solved it. And the second one as we have understood from here is a binary operation. 
now we have to go about solving the third question the third question is what on z positive defined by a star b is equal to modulus of a minus b and then we have to check whether this third part is a binary operation or is not a binary operation now most of you must have been familiar about this operation which is modulus operation for those who do not know what is mod let me first explain what is mod and then we'll see the question so if i have two numbers 2 and 3 where i have a is equal to 2 b is equal to 3 and i have to do a minus b that means 2 minus 3 and 2 minus 3 is minus 1 we are applying modulus on a minus b what happens is whenever you have a negative number modulus will make it positive so minus 1 will become plus 1 this is the function this is the work of modulus operation but if the story would have been something different that means my 3 is a my 2 is b and i have to do a minus b what will happen it will happen as 3 minus 2 which is equal to 1 and mod of any positive is positive only so two points we studied by now what that if i have a negative number modulus will make it positive and if i have a positive number modulus will make it positive again it will not change it right now with this knowledge of what is modulus let's move to the third part now that z positive is given it is defined as modulus of a minus b and i am being asked whether it is a binary operation or not we've seen what does mod do let's see what the question has to say so the third part goes about modulus of a minus b and on what kind of numbers on z positive numbers that means on positive integers now if it is something like this where we have both positives a and b we would be definitely getting something like this only i mean we have now studied that modulus operation will have to do nothing but make things positive so the answer would be in z positive only and if the answer is in z positive only that means we have the modulus operation as closed on positive integers because it always belongs to positive integers and nothing else hence modulus operation hence modulus operation is closed is closed on z positive this is what we have studied and understood so in this video we saw three problems based on binary operation and let me write it down that yes the third operation is a binary operation we also understood what is a modulus operation and in the next videos we'll be getting more insights to more topics of binary operation